Diaive, welcome to my tiny traditional cottage in the west of Ireland. I know this has been a long awaited. I won't give you too much detail, um, but I'll give the grand tour. Uh, I can't show you the outside for obvious reasons, but I'll do my best. If you have any questions and want more details, let me know. But like, you know, it's lived in. It's not super tidy or anything like that. So lower your expectations, but it's really charming. As you can see, my dog agrees. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. I'll try to do it in one continuous video. This is my, the room I call my little office. It was added on to the house and I just love it. We do have distant sea views. Probably can't see them through the camera. Uh oh, sorry, I thought that my soup was boiling over. It was just my shoes squeaking. <laughs> All right, Leo, let's give the tour. This is the main sitting room. It's where I hang up all of our jackets. Um, I put this cloth on the light because it was so bright. So when you first walk in, we have the loft that goes up to my daughter's playroom. And I will not show you that room because if I go up there, I will get upset because it's so messy. <laughs> but she's allowed to have that space messy. And here's my bedroom. And then there is her bedroom. What you see is pretty much it, but I'll give you more detail here. This is the stove that will be put in eventually. There's our open fire. This painting my stepfather painted in the States. That's my Lady in the Unicorn tapestry I got for my graduation. Hello. Um, this is the creek I actually grew up on in New Jersey. It's called Jacob's Creek. I'll show you the living room from this angle. Okay, you're going to hear some boiling. There we go. It's so cozy, isn't it? All right. Luna, do you want to show my daughter's room? This is our only heat source. <laughs> this is our art and games. Let's see. I don't know how tidy it is. Not terribly tidy. That's all of our storage and Christmas stuff because we have nowhere to put anything. I don't want to make anyone dizzy. Okay. I'll show you uh, my room, which is also very messy. <laughs> my bed is a mess and all of my clothes. It's small and dark, but it is what it is. I love it anyway. Okay. Now to the kitchen. It's quirky and messy, but I love it. I'm currently making a pot pie, so there it is. Hey, Dill. Hello, buddy. He enjoys the sunshine. Okay, so there's the famous cupboard, the press, as I was told, the only one in the house, aside from the kitchen sink. Um, this came with the house, all of my landlord stuff is underneath as well, and then I just have storage. This is where all of our food is. That's it. What is the kitchen? That's my pot pie being prepared, my mincemeat my onions, and then all of my boiled veg. Okay, this is the spice rack I put up. <laughs> and I put this here to not only keep out the draft, but also, because this is where the cat litter is, and I call this my outhouse. Welcome to the outhouse. Cat litter's down there, I'm not gonna show you. It's just the hot press in that room. This is the back door. Um, it's not great, I'll show you, you can see, Water comes in there, so I just keep a towel. And this is what I call our outhouse. Yes, real life, there's laundry, there's mold, there's bugs and everything. But there it is. There's our washer, our snails, 
That is it. Now, I'll show you some smaller details of things, but that's it in a nutshell. Um, I have a back garden back here. It's pretty much the dog's bathroom at the moment. Um, I have a side yard here. But like I said, a lot of my landlord's rubbish is back there. One day I'd love to clear it all, but I can't really because she's attached to the items. And um, that's the way it is. So let me show you a few little details of things that I love, things I brought from the States, um, things that just mean a lot to me. You can say goodbye now if you want to, but I feel like they're the features that make the home, aside from the charm. This tapestry back here, it's called Lady and the Unicorn. I received this as a graduation gift when I graduated university in the States from my mother. So it's come with me from all over. I graduated in 2005, so yeah, it's pretty old. <laughs> For school, I had gone to, I think it was the Met in New York City, and I had seen either this tapestry or something similar. Um, there's a whole series of the, the unicorn tapestries. Um, and then I did my degree in English literature. And just, of course, I fell in love with Tracy Chevalier. She wrote The Girl with the Pearl Earring, but she also wrote um, Oh, the Lady and the Unicorn, which is based on the tapestry. Ideally, I want to put it up here. That's my landlord's painting, um, but I can't reach. Uh, but it's definitely like the focal point of my house. I love it. My cat, Scotty, who I had for 13 years recently passed away. And we have a little shrine to her up here. So I have her, the last brush that I had with her at the vet and some of her hair and some white feathers, which I seem to keep spotting all around since she's passed away. I don't know what's happening with this thing. I've tried to shove it back up, but I've heard rodents up there. <laughs> I'm afraid they're like gonna fall out. So I'm just gonna leave it. It's like, I don't know. Like, did you ever sit in a floaty in, a, in the water and your butt hangs through? That's what it reminds me of. And there you have it. I know it's a bit random, but there's the tour of my little cottage in the west of Ireland. I said it in the TikTok video that if I could, I would absolutely buy this place. I would fence in the full garden with the big field and have some polytunnels and get rid of all the rubbish and things like that. Um, clean it out a little bit and just freshen it up fill it with plants, which I'm working on. I have all of my lovely plants here. Um, it's absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> it's absolutely ideal. I definitely visualized this place for a good long while before I got it. It's always been my dream to have a little Irish cottage. And like I said before, it has its quirks. It has, you know, its downsides, but the positives far outweigh 
any negatives and I'd rather take a bit of the cold and the wind that blows through it and the dampness to have this because it's so charming. I'm very visual and very aesthetic and it pleases my soul and my heart. So hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see y'all later. Slan Togaboge.